Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and today a look at what sold over the weekend. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Montana. That means I go to garage sales and state sales and thrift stores. I find things there that I think are priced too low. I buy them and then I sell them again online. Now, I mostly do that on eBay. And what we're going to do is take a look at what sold over uh, pretty much Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And for the most part, it's Friday, Saturday. Both those days were okay. Sunday, I think we're at three things that have sold today. It's been really, really slow today. But good sales on Saturday, so that balanced it out. And we had a whatnot auction here on uh, th this afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and that went really well. So thanks to everybody that stopped by for that. It was a lot of fun, and it sold some really cool shirts. Some really good deals were had, and I'm very happy with how it all turned out. So that did kind of balance things out a little bit, I suppose. But let's take a look at what sold. The first thing right here this a Spin Master Monster Jam truck, Dragon. I bet I've had this for two and a half years. It's been sitting for a while. Sold for $9.97 plus shipping. And then Steven came in, said he and his wife, Carol, watch the channel all the time, have learned a lot. And man, I, I sure appreciate it. I, I really, really do. It's good to hear that what we're putting out there is benefiting folks. So thank you. And I heard that on Instagram and on several other messages here lately. And you don't have to come in and buy anything out of this store. And I just really, really appreciate when you do. Check it out. Steven and Carol got this Madeira hat, this really cool looking hat. A mini Kansas City Chiefs helmet. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, City Sewer Dawn, and another TMNT figure, Vintage Scumbug, all total $37.25. So, guys, thank you so much for that. I sure appreciate it. We also sold this Green Day t-shirt, really cool tee, paid, I think, $1.99 for this at Goodwill, and it sold for $14.73 plus shipping. Then we sold Blackboard Jungle, this also $1.99 at Goodwill, sold for $9.98 plus shipping, and that thing sold in, I think, less than a week. Really good sell-through rate on that DVD. Abyss, a wrestling figure, TNA figure, sold for good money. This is a relatively rare figure, $39.86, plus shipping on that guy. And then we sold a manual for an old 35-millimeter point-and-shoot camera, $9 plus shipping. It was probably worth more than that eventually. It's probably like a $15, but they sent me an offer, I think, of six, and that wasn't quite high enough. But then when they sent nine, I thought, eh, it's been sitting for a while. It's good enough. I mean, you're, you're targeting a very small audience that's trying to find a point-and-shoot manual from a specific camera. I, uh, that, nine bucks. Good enough, right? I was happy with that. Then we sold this dog chew rope, this knotted rope, $9.97 plus priority padded flat rate shipping. Then we sold a CD or a pair of them, actually, to the same buyer. Morning of the World as We Know It took an offer of $15 plus shipping on this one. And then that same buyer came in and made an offer on Dance Electric, $7.00. Free shipping on that one, which I maybe wouldn't have done otherwise, but they already bought another that had shipping attached. So why not? They've been sitting for a while. No one has sent an offer on them otherwise. So sure, let's get them out the door. So $22 plus shipping all told for those two uh, CDs. Happy with that. Five Nights at Freddy's Plush sold another one of these guys. I think I've got two of them left. Retail arbitrage grab at Walmart. This one sold for $21.77 plus shipping. This an offer that I sent out. I saw I had a watcher send out an offer and very quickly they paid. So that offer paid off just taking 5% off the price. And then you saw it in the thumbnail right here. Miss Piggy. I picked this up at the same place where we picked up those Walt Disney World security badges. We talked about those in the last video. Some of that stuff now all of a sudden has been selling. So picked this up out of an antique mall. And I can't remember what we paid for this, to be honest with you. But it's all profit now. We're way into the profit from our stop at that store. And this is a really good sale. I took an offer. I sent an offer out of, I think, 170 something like that on this. And they came back at 150 and I took that. So 150 free shipping, again, 100% profit 
on that. I haven't boxed it up. I haven't sh shipped that one yet, but my guess is it's going to be about a $12 to $15 item to ship. It's a little bulky, so you're paying for oversized, but it's not super heavy, so it shouldn't be all that bad. Then I took an offer on these tarot cards for $15 plus shipping. We sold a cheap little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure. This is a newer figure. This Leonardo sold for $7.49. Free shipping. Made a couple bucks off of it. NCIS Los Angeles Season 6. $8.99 plus shipping. Then we sold an Arizona Diamondbacks hat. Have held on to this one for a while. I think it was priced, I think, around $35. And it's probably worth that eventually. That's sort of the theme of this one, right? Of I could have held on to some of this stuff. And eventually it finds a buyer at that price. But you have to decide, is that price at this moment good enough? And for me, yeah, you know what? Good enough. So $25 plus shipping on that hat. Then I sent out an offer on this Pokemon game for the DS. I think I had it priced up at about $40. And I sent out an offer of $36, and they took it. So $36 plus shipping. War of the Worlds, another DVD going out, $7.98 plus shipping. An old Goosebumps book. This number three sold for $4.99 plus shipping. And then the last one that I've sold as of today, actually, we did just have a sale come in, but I will put that on the next video. I sold this Montana Sapphire for $20 plus shipping. I sent out an offer on that of, I think, maybe $22, $23, and he came back at $20. Again, it was a good enough. They'd been sitting for a while. I picked a whole bunch of these up from a, a guy that was, a, he was a rock guy. He had all sorts of stuff. And I thought, you know what? The Sapphires, I made a bulk of deal on them. Well into the profit. I actually got a couple more that I still need to list. I got to find where I put them, but I've got a couple more that I can list. Really good little money makers. They take a little bit to sell, but a cool item to have in the store. There's not a lot of people out there listing raw, uncut Sapphires straight out of the ground. So kind of a cool thing. I thought I'd give it a shot and it's worked out. So I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out today. Very quick video. But like I said, I didn't sell a whole lot today on Sunday. So that gets us in and out of this thing relatively quickly. We mentioned whatnot before. If you haven't followed us on there, you can uh, down underneath in the description. That'll tell you what our name is on there. And then you can follow us. We're going to do more auctions coming up this week. I think we're going to do a figure auction this week, I've got some loose, uh, like Mario and Luigi and Bowser, some of those like Nintendo figures. I think I'm going to mix in some old school Minnie and Mickey Mouse and that sort of thing. And we'll maybe pull something else in. So a little bit of a hodgepodge of figures. I think it'll be a fun sale. So we'll schedule that for maybe, uh, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know once we get that thing set up. So that'll wrap it up for today, guys. Really quick one again. If you haven't followed us on Whatnot, you can do so underneath. If you haven't subscribed to us here on YouTube, you can do that. Why not? You're here. You're watching it anyway, right? Just hit that subscribe. We're working our way towards 11,000 subs. Hit that thumb on your way out. That helps us a ton. And comments help us out an awful lot as well. So I love seeing comments from you guys. That's double prizes for me. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.